you and I do agree with you but you remember we talked about this before you remember me saying this to you I said this to my, my, my response to you was this me and you friends right we've been friends uh-huh. brothers for all these years and shit right what if you found out I was a rat nigga you understand what I'm saying yeah. like, like like you just found out I, I, just, I snitched in some you, you, you heard I snitched in some fucking preset and my own and the comfortability in the, uh, the 73rd precinct or whatever the fuck, <laughs> whatever precinct it was, right? That was private. Nobody was supposed to, <laughs> nobody was supposed to know. But nobody was supposed out. to know about that. But it comes out. And then niggas is like, nah, Rock, I'm not fucking with you. It's the same shit. It's like, even though you did it on your own personal time, if it comes out, it speaks to the character that you want to have. You know, like, like you want to have a character in your organization, in your team, in your squad, in your family, or whatever. And that's a comp- and that's compromising the fucking sh- sh- something. We made you kick him in. We made you leave your first rap partner because he ain't even looked the part. You know what? Yeah, now but, that I think about it, yeah, the, you, the way that nobody's you, gonna take your money in your house and do all that stupid stuff because you're a rat, though, Rock. Like they took his team away from him, so that, that was his. He owned it. Like nobody's well, gonna take was, something you own. You know nobody's gonna take something you own it. because you're a rat. People gonna stop fucking with you. That's true. I, and look, they stopped I fucking agreed. With him. I, I agreed with what Starang said when he said it the first time, right? But when you just now said about the rat idea, right? It made me think about something a little different, right? So, because of the fact that Donald Sterling was a part of an organization, a bigger organization, that organization could technically say, we don't want you part of our business anymore. So mm-hmm. that's why he was able to be uh, um, kicked out or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but it was because with- he said something in the, com- in the privacy of his own home. Exactly. Remember, but here's that's, the really, thing. that's the point. Yeah, exactly. Here's the thing about that, right? And I don't want to stay on it too long because we're talking about the LGBT thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I I got you. When an artist is on stage, like a a rapper or or a comedian on stage talking, that's their house at the moment. That is literally their house. They're speaking about whatever it it is that they represent at that particular time or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. That's exactly how, you know, people get canceled. The baby was the baby was getting ready to get canceled off of what he said while he was at his house. Technically, the same way that people are trying to cancel Dave Chappelle no, for no, stuff that he no, said while no, he was on stage no. doing his uh, performance. That's that's bad, right? That's bad. How's that's that not, bad? How's that that's bad? bad? You don't think the you baby think comes people- to do a show and that's his house and it's the same as somebody being in the house with a bed and their kids and shit saying what they want well, to say. I'm saying, I'm saying when you're, you're supposed to have the free, you're supposed to have the freedom to say whatever you are doing no, with when, the, when you're performing with, your art. What the baby did is he was in a public place and offended people. He yeah, didn't yeah, yeah. I, I know, I know all that. I'm just saying, like, I'm, I'm comparing that to like how how people are trying to comp- uh, um, uh, uh, cancel Dave Chappelle yeah. over this him being on stage saying what he said Dave Chappelle stuff well, was literally written out the way that he wanted to say I, it let, all that let me ask right? you this though the, the baby let stuff me ask was you this real quick let me ask you this real quick yeah do you think Dave Chappelle should be canceled quick yes no. or no nope do you think that they was all right for canceling trying to cancel the baby yes or no I don't think it's right, no. Oh, 
See, to me, it's two different things, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't think it's right because, um, because I, you know, I, you know, we we all do music. I know how it is with a person being on stage. You just saying whatever you saying. You know what I'm saying? While you're in the middle of those parts, unless it's written in your rap, all the rest of that stuff in the middle is fluff that you're just trying to do to to hype the crowd up. And it was a it was a slip of the tongue that he made, and he just made a huge blunder in front of the world. But he didn't even probably even think about it when he actually said it. He probably just was rapping or whatever, and then he started saying, yo, yo, yo. Because people do that kind of stuff all the time in order to hype the crowd up. You know what I'm saying? That's, like, what all you're the saying other is, people be quiet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what, like, what, what you're saying is true, but sometimes- He, he just said something is, completely listen, terrible. Nah, some, sometimes there is some, just to be fair, sometimes yeah. there is some intent about what you stand like you know like i've got on stage and and have the, like i went i did a show in athens fucking greece and yeah when i got there like they let me know the promoters and shit that they was like yo listen the police been on some bullshit out here we've been out here fighting with the police you know if you could say something about that say something you know what i'm saying they they, they, they yeah. would appreciate that we need, so i was intentional purposeful yeah, yeah, I, yeah, intent, yeah. I, I intentionally said what i said you know i'm like we go through the bullshit yeah. with the police out here too so you know i stated yeah. my opinion now if exactly. all of a sudden I, now if i left that spot and the police were waiting for me i made my own bed yeah yeah yeah, of course, but that's extent. what I'm saying, though. I'm saying sometimes, yeah, but that isn't written. He didn't write that. That just happened. We actually know that that's the fact because he said it. You know what I'm right. saying? But, right, but right. I'm just saying, like, in general, when a person is performing or whatever, that's their stage at the moment. That's whatever they want to say. We shouldn't be scrutinizing people, whatever they do as their art. You see what I'm saying? Like that, all these things that we love about comedy uh, um, from back in the day, half of these cats wouldn't be able to say that stuff now. You know what I'm saying? Like saying because yeah. they would get like canceled this. immediately. A, a white a white comedian is on stage and he used the word nigga 20 times in his shit. What you gonna do? What you think I mean, about that? I just won't. I just won't watch that cat. I'm not gonna call for people to cancel him. I just won't watch yeah. him because I don't like it. And that's the right. No, that's, and that's the right thing to do. Yeah, that's exactly what I was about to say. Like, as far as like whatever niggas do, like canceling a nigga, you take canceling a nigga for, for for one bad choice or two bad choices of words. Like, you got to think of what canceling a person means. means. Listen, if like you talking about taking all all of his money away, so now his you know now his family can't eat you supposed to eat. you know what yeah. i mean we all made we all made bad choices and shit and, and, and should be allowed to live and work through them you know what i mean exactly. but, um w without everybody jumping down on us but as the like if you offend your fans then your fans should just stop fucking with you, you exactly. understand what i'm saying that's like, all there is listen, to and, listen, and listen to be fair too it's like a lot of us do that shit though too like we had this thing like black people was doing this shit and no i'm not a trump supporter at all but yeah. we was doing this shit where if we found out somebody supported trump we thought they was racist <laughs> and that's not true and it's that's not, not all true. the way true it's not all the way true that's but not a true. lot of them was <laughs> but this, no. black people was doing shit like that and that's not true <laughs> I, I, I knew some i know some black trump supporters I yeah knew. me too i right. had some conversations with people about it mm -hmm. you know i well, with trump we, it, 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 it I know some white Trump supporters, the but they not racist. <laughs> like, I know yeah, white yeah, Trump look. supporters, but they're not racist. They just support Trump. Exactly. Look, and you know, to listen. be to be fair, I during that whole time period or whatever, right? I started looking at uh, different things or whatever that Trump would do, and I watched that uh, Trump American, uh, the All American Story or whatever of Trump or whatever on uh, Netflix, and. From my, from me watching that, I realized I don't believe that Trump is racist. I think he's just a, a narcissist, and he's a, a person that's a, all about himself. If you like him, he loves you. If you don't like him, he's like screw you and everybody that likes you. You know what I'm saying? He's just like that. I don't know so, about that, right? All right, I don't no, know. I, I don't. I really I don't, know, don't believe okay. he's racist. Racist. I think that he he grew up a certain way. And, and I actually, he's, I actually he's all think about he's racist. It. You do? I actually think he's racist, man. For sure. Yeah. Now watch that story or whatever. You'll you'll probably feel the exact same way. 
Nah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> yeah. but, we got, <laughs> but we we're gotta getting get, off we subject. Gotta, we got to. We got to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we got to get ready to get out of here and whatnot. Um, but wait but, up. But, that being said, yeah. I want to say Dave Chappelle, great work. He's the yes, motherfucking work. dope. All right. Great work. That's motherfucking art. Bro. Listen, yeah, listen. I, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna point everybody. Everybody, you know, I'm gonna just point this out for a second in closing on this, right? Like. I think Dave Chappelle exercised enormous emotional intelligence. That's EQ. Yeah. It's, the, it's the opposite of IQ. All of the smart shit you know, but em, emotional intelligence, like, like I think he was very tactful in his brash comedy. You know, he brashed sometimes. Yep. He still got to be yeah. him. But I think he was very tactful he did in his that thing. shit. You understand what I'm saying? And you know, it's just, but there is just one simple fact of the world that we did. I don't think any of us touched on this. You can't, you ain't never gonna be able to satisfy everybody. You know nope. what I mean? Like, like that's that's just a fact. So with that being said, we, um, we're gonna get into, you know, salute Dave, you know what I mean? Salute to B. For, yep. for, 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 salute to Netflix for supporting and all of that. I love you know I mean? that. I love that. Yeah. The way that they said yeah. uh, they doubled down on the fact that they was going to support mm-hmm. him. They're like, mm-hmm. if you watch uh, all this violent, uh, these violent yeah. shows and all this stuff yeah. on Netflix, you you can watch some uh, some brash comedy. Right, right. And salute to salute to all the free thinkers. Salute to Kyrie Irving, my new favorite, my new favorite yeah. basketball player. Too. Salute my nigga J. Rowe. But now let's get to the petty portion. Thank you for listening to Monster Mondays podcast. Please join us every Monday from eight to ten p.m. West Coast time and eleven to one a.m. East Coast time. Every single Monday, Monster Monday. Also, check out these awesome shows from the rest of our podcasting family. The Funny Farm, East New York Radio, All Elements Mix Show, The Star Power Collective, The Cosa Nostra Radio, 5150 Mix Show, Block News Live, Final Coffee Mix Show, and Hidden Gems. Check them all out under the delicious vinyl on radio stations.